Thursday, look at Thursday. Ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. The Chevy, what is it, Arcadia, I think it is, 2014, man, I think it's an Arcadia, but uh, we got to work on some, some things today, oh no, it's reverse, it's reverse, okay, so we're working on um, changing the radiator, we're changing the belt, we're changing the pulley, and we're changing the water pump. Um, but what I don't like about getting cars with customers telling me what to do is because he got it told here. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's his problem. But um, he's hiring me to do a job. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's hiring me to do a job. So um, you know, what I should do is just do the job, and then anything else that comes after the job. It's after the job, but uh, I like to diagnose cars and make sure I know what's wrong with it um, and do it step by step. He ended up buying everything because he doesn't want to waste any more time. So to get to the radiator, we have to take off this plastic, the whole plastic. Um, it looks like it's already out and the radiator's down here, all right, boom. And I, I just don't know, he's saying it's the water pump. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do is just fill it up with water and, and see what I get, see if it's overheating. But then again, if it's overheating, I don't wanna I don't wanna turn it on and get all this all these stuff hot if it's already cool. So uh I don't know man. I think I should just change it, right? Forget about turning it on, change the water pump, change the radiator, and he already bought the parts. And it's on him. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. It is what it is. So uh, stay tuned, y'all. That's what we're doing today. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty big job, but uh, I think we can get it done in a timely manner. So let's, let's start. So we're here with the Traverse, man, and I did my little research. I took apart a bunch of things, and I was just talking to a friend of mine prior to me coming over here and I said what I hate about getting cars from tow trucks right so basically tell you in a second so basically customer calls me he says yo I need my water pump changed so I give him the price so he ends up telling me that he wants me to change the radiator the tensioner all these other things at the same time I don't know I don't know why who, who told him this so I'm just like, okay, no problem. You know, I'm be there. I'll be at the, you know, the same spot. Whatever, that's what it is. So I come here. I'm working on a car, and I'm, I'm like, damn, it's gonna be a, a big job, right? And I'm talking to my friend. And I'm like, I'm like, um, I would hate to do the job, start the car up, and he still has the same problem that he had originally, and that's. When, when you call somebody to do mechanic work, right, he's just like, yo, I need my water pump changed. I changed the water pump. He didn't tell me why he needed the water pump changed. He's not asking me to diagnose the water pump. He's not asking me to do anything. He's telling me that he needs a change. So I change it. Right? So um, I'm just inspecting the car, and I end up seeing a leak on one side. Right. It looks like a, it's like an oil leak. It doesn't even look like a, a coolant leak. It looks like an oil leak. All right. So I'm touching the hose. When I touch the hose, I see that it's completely broken off, meaning that it overheated, which is common in these traverses, right? They have rubber hoses with plastic fittings, and the plastic fittings end up boiling so much that um. They pop out, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, let me see, these are the plastic fittings that I'm talking about. And the one right here, that doesn't have a hose, connects from here to here. That is this hose right here. 
So what I'm going to try to do is try to get the part for him, replace this, fill it up, and uh, he should be good. If it continues to have the problem, then we have to go for the other job. But yeah, that's where we at. Hey guys, so we got lucky, man. AutoZone had this piece by itself. Um, I had to match them up, and thank God they, they match. And then what I'm doing is I'm doing a makeshift hose into the other connection right now. Um, the problem with these hoses is that once you start to bend them, you will get a pinch in the line right here. So I'm going to try my best to probably... If anything, keep the distance or even cut it probably right here. And um, we're gonna test that out. Oh, so this this job that I'm doing right now is actually a temporary fix um, for this overheating problem. Hold on, I hate that seatbelt. Seatbelt notification. I should just be listening to it and uh, putting on the seatbelt. But I'm driving and recording a bunch of legal share ones. So anyways, this is a temporary fix because the car overheats. There's a certain, there's a certain uh, area, there's a common problem in these traverses that they overheat from these plastics. The plastic ends up getting so high, it goes into boiling temperature, and then it breaks off, all the coolant comes out, and um, you're stuck with an overheating car, a stranded car. That seatbelt is annoying. So, we got lucky, guys. Um, like I said, what happened was it's a, it comes in three lines. There's three of these connected to the same um, to the same device. What uh, what I got lucky was I got was able to actually pull this one out. And this is the only broken one. So um, right now we don't know if the if the water pump got damaged. I'm, I know the radiator is fine. It's not the radiator. He just got scared on that. Uh, the belt and the pulley, I'm not sure why he wanted to change that. Um, but I guess we could always do that another day, depending on what's his, uh, what's the outcome of this one. But the reason why I didn't, the reason why I didn't um, install the water pump, the radiator, the pulley is because I'm not sure of his, uh, of his, his money status at the, at the moment. So... I don't want to use up all the parts that are not necessary to use because those parts do not need to get changed. Maybe the thermostat might have to get changed. Maybe the water pump. Maybe. Um, but that's only, we only can find that out after we put this hose in and make sure there's no leak. Um, from my knowledge, he didn't drive this car home. He had it towed home. So I'm pretty sure there's a minimum damage to the water pump and everything else. So what I did was I saved all the parts. I ended up buying the hose. We're gonna put the hose in, we're gonna clamp it up, we're gonna add the fluid, and we're gonna test this car. Hopefully the thermostat opens up, pushes everything through, and um, he should be good. Uh, I won't know if the water pump is bad until after he drives it for a little while, but our main goal, sorry, I'm a little tired now. Our main goal is replacing this part. So this part, I will have to go back and re fix because this is rubber with plastic and more than likely um, it's going to burn even faster. Right? Um, the other ones has this metal metal tip on top and I guess it's supposed to um, secure the boiling on the end that I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. So again, we're doing a temporary fix. I'm putting, this back, I'm putting this one hose back in, filling it up with water, making sure that everything is good. The customer would have to go online and order this part. The whole entire part is going to cost them $170 on AutoZone. I'm pretty sure you could probably buy it online for cheaper, and we can replace it then later. But this is where we're at, man. This is where we're at. So uh, stay tuned. Real quick, I'm gonna show you the hose, guys. This is right here. I hope I can keep it circular or it doesn't have any uh, issues. Right now, we're testing it. 
adding water, it's taking the water. It's not leaking out. There's definitely a lot of air in the system, so I'm gonna wait for that thermostat to open up. And um, see, look, that's good right there. When you get a steady, a steady, or well, without the bubbles, but when it's steady like that, that's perfect. So that's what we're looking for. More than likely, it's gonna stay. I'm gonna keep this car running for about 20 minutes. Um, thermostat opens up, closes, opens up, closes a couple of times. This car is good to drive, and then. Uh, what we could do is uh, order the pieces that he does need. So, I'm gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. A phone call, but yeah, 20 minutes we're gonna leave it on. Like I said, everything is pretty good here. You see there's no leak, which is great. That's what we're looking for. Um, but again, the thermostat has to open up. I'm pretty sure right now that's cooling going straight into that hose and that one. Um, like I said, let's see, man. Let's, let's see. That's right, so where we're at. We're gonna keep on filling. I'm gonna fill up, it's not bad. It's very, uh, very consistent, which I like. So it looks like this is gonna be promising, y'all. There's no leak coming out. That's the water I dropped. Looks like there's gonna be a this temporary fix is definitely gonna work. And, uh, that's gonna be it, man. You know? So that. That coolant hose is definitely, uh, if you do have a Chevy Traverse, I recommend you uh, you buy that coolant hose and just, just have it in the car because worst case scenario, it does break. You can always go on the side of the highway and fix that problem as opposed to, you know, getting your car towed. Um, but yeah. I just hope there's not a lot of blockage, like I said, because that turn, they do it on purpose. They make these turns on purpose, so... You know, you gotta buy those hoses from them. You can't just replace it with a regular one like I did. But uh, what I do is I put a clamp in the middle to give it the circular ring, and then it has no choice but to be circular. And I feel the coolant is definitely hot, so that's that's good. That's good news. Um, coolant's in there. This is hot also. I'm gonna turn on the heater. Right, and uh, we're gonna see. Fast forward two hours later, y'all. This is what we're looking for. One or two bubbles is okay, but a consistent, steady uh, float is good. And the water and the coolant. Um, again, uh, I fixed the hose, but not only was the hose loose, but the thermostat housing was loose. I don't, maybe not loose, but um, there was a little bit of an air pocket in that one side, and it could have been because the thermostat, well, when I looked at it compared to the two, it was a little bit stuck. A little bit stuck. So I'm guessing air was getting in somehow. So anyways, we replaced it. Replaced that whole, that whole uh, thermostat housing with the hose. Customer's gonna have to order the hose online to be on the safe side. It's just a temporary fix. We don't know how long it's gonna last before it, I guess, converts to muscle or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. But uh, right now, all we're doing is waiting for the thermostat to open up now so we could uh, take in all that water. All right, you see it's steady, but then there's a bubble every, every now and again. There's a bubble, I just saw a couple. So this is what you look for. And we saw the bubble, see it bubbling up. So it was good one or two to happen because getting the air out of the system. But if it continuously happens, then obviously it's gonna make your car overheat in the future. So it could be something else. Um, but we're working on one thing at a time, guys, right? So that hose needs to get replaced, which is first. And then we could go on into the water pump or even the radiator, but the radiator is good. You would have saw it consistent. But the radiator was bad for sure. So is it, man, it's done, I mean, like I said, I'm waiting for the thermostat to go on, and then this job will be completely finished. But look, that's all we need to know. As long as it stays like that, I know we're good. I know we're good. And uh, this is the old gasket. It's all messed up. It had glue on it and things. Somebody replaced this before. Like I said, it's a common problem with the Traverse. 
So, uh, uh, a couple of small tips and there you go. Like I said, look, still. So, it's pretty good. What up? It's pretty good. And uh, now all we gotta do is wait for the temperature to go on, fans to come on. Everything should be a okay. Um, another thing I did realize is that this has a temperature sensor and the temperature sensor when it's burnt I guess it's going to give a low reading because it's not going to be as hot so 72 degrees Celsius I'm not sure what degrees this fan turns on but last time it was overheating and it was at 95 degrees Celsius and the car did not tell it it was overheating so I'm thinking that the, the temperature sensor is bad on this one also so my recommendation to the owner would be the hose and temperature sensor first. And um, we keep, we, I do keep on seeing the bubbles every now and again, but again, it's not consistent. So it's only when something is moving. So I'm not sure if it's because of the thermostat, because maybe me touching stuff, I don't know. I don't know exactly. Um, I hope it's not the water pump. But that is the last thing. The water pump and the radiator is the last two things that we will have to fix, if anything. So, who we have?